And that, that would be a big giant change in the auto industry. Everybody else is scared to death to do that stuff. But, but I figured that Tesla, Tesla, they kind of like lead the way. If, if somebody's going to do something dramatically different, they're the guys that are going to do it. So, uh, that's what we're expecting to see. And, and quite frankly, I can, I think that we can help out the whole industry if, uh, um, I have a, I don't know where it is, but the series on what to do next um, uh, with the auto industry. Uh, I, I'm putting those out and I'm calling it what Tesla should do next because I'm not really certain that uh, too many other car companies are going to be running out to take advice from us, that's for sure. So let me ask you about the Octavalve because I know that you've gone over it, I've seen it. Thank you for pulling it out of the car. Um, you know, I was gonna ask some people that I know who have Model Ys, they weren't too hot on the idea. You're kidding, um, what the heck? What I kind know. of friends are they? <laughs> <laughs> right, I still don't get it. I'm still, I don't fully understand what it does. I understand that it's a bunch of valves and it's complicated, but like, how instrumental to the Model Y do you think that it is? Funny you should ask. <laughs> the guys that were here just a few minutes ago, um, and the guys that were here yesterday or over the uh, over the phone yesterday, um, this is the uh, report that they want strictly. And when you look inside, it's got basically everything that's going on inside inside that that product. Okay, so at the end of the day, these kinds of systems um, and this kind of technology, to me, uh, this is brilliant design. Now, it doesn't look like much more than about a complicated plastic injection molding, but the Octo Valve and these other components, these things right here, this is, this is brilliant. This isn't a mechanical design. This is a, this is an electric circuit board that, uh, that someone has just puffed up and put together. So when you look at this stuff from just the outside, you can't really tell much. So these things have all been CT scanned. So by CT scanning, it means I, I can go and I can look inside. What's going on inside this thing? Now the actual Octo Valve is still being um, x-rayed because that's what a CT scan is. Um, and so I don't have it here with me, but, um, but you have to really uh, see how this thing works um, and the only way that you can see it is either by taking it apart and looking at it or better yet take a picture or an x-ray shift the uh, valve it, it has four basic sections shift the valve and then you can see lots of stuff and then if you have all the rest of the uh, stuff that goes with it so this is where right here is where the octo valve is located and then these are the two electric motors that, uh, or pumps rather, that, uh, uh, that, that drive the whole system. Um, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. We thought that the um, uh, super bottle was brilliant. This is way better because this will give you extended range. Heating and cooling uh, sucks a lot of energy out of the, um, out of the uh, product, out of the batteries. And um, this, this makes a gigantic difference as far as uh, the difference between this and, and uh, PTC heaters, uh, the little electric heaters that the people are putting in. And